and welcome back to my channel. Shh, a budget beauty brand that will blow your mind. I love nothing more than discovering a brilliant budget beauty brand. And this one is G-O-W, Garden of Wisdom, which is sold internationally via Victoria Health which is a website that you need to get acquainted with if you don't know it. It's absolutely brilliant. Um, I know Jill, the founder, really well, but I promise you I'm not biased. Jill is, um, is sort of a global cool hunter that travels the world discovering really interesting uh, skincare brands, wellness brands, uh, supplements. Anyway, it's a great site if you haven't discovered it yet. And Jill was absolutely instrumental in bringing Desiem and The Ordinary over here, and particularly in polishing the rough edges as off The Ordinary. And um, I don't know if you're familiar with what's going on with the social media outpouring of controversy surrounding, that's a good way of putting it, surrounding um, the founder of The Ordinary and Desiem. But anyway, as a result, um, Victoria Health and The Ordinary have gone their separate ways and so Jill has been in search of a brand that could replace it really, that would offer a similar service, similar level of ingredients at a super budget price. Enter Garden of Wisdom. Now, if you Google Garden of Wisdom, you'll come up with some hippy drippy weird site. Sorry, G-O-W. They're based in Arizona and they've been around for a long time. They're a family-based company who are not only a developer of a small range of products, but they are also an ingredient supplier to other skincare companies. And what's interesting about an ingredient supplier is they've obviously been completely transparent about the active ingredients in their products. Now, Jill and Shabir, Shabir is the pharmacist that also started Victoria Health, have been looking for a budget range of really clever active ingredients and they actually went to Arizona and said to the family of founders, hey look, um, we've got an idea uh, for what you could do. You could slightly repackage your products because we know they're brilliant. Can we just cherry pick a few of your active ingredients and your products, but also can we suggest some new formulations? Can we tweak some formulations? And the result is G-O-W, which is basically Garden of Wisdom the rough diamond polished and set in a gorgeous great big asher cut ring they are really fabulous now let's start with the product that i am using every single day morning and night this is the vitamin c 23 percent with ferulic acid everybody knows that i absolutely love skinceuticals ce ferulic um, this is obviously their dupe for it for it now ce ferulic is in a dropper and it's in a sort of uh what feels like an oil but it's actually a solvent um, I personally love the smell, but a lot of people sell, say it smells like bacon. This is completely different. Similar active ingredients, airtight, watertight, oxygen tight, light tight container, and a serum that looks like that. It is, without a doubt, the nicest vitamin C serum I have ever used. Now, I have not been using it long enough to notice if it's actually going to brighten and lighten my skin because I'm bringing you this as a you need to watch this space kind of video but it is not gritty not tingly doesn't make your skin go red doesn't irritate it is completely unscented completely unscented and it's a pleasure to use how often can you say that about a 23 percent vitamin c serum with that level of active ingredients it is truly beautifully formulated it's my discovery of 2018. I love it that much, I really do. And on the website it says only use it at night because it's a really powerful vitamin C, therefore your, your concern would be that it would oxidize if you wear it during the day. But at that price and in that formulation, why not use it morning and night? Why not? I really love it. Now there are so many products in the range that uh, include some cleansers, some cold pressed oils, but I thought I'd go through just my hero product selection. Let's start with the anti-aging multi-peptide serum. Again, a really lovely formulation, loaded with about three or four different types of peptides. So this would be your equivalent of say, The Ordinary's Buffet. Um, it's, it's really light, really easy to use, can be taken right up and around the eye. Really good value for money, dare I have to say that again. 
there is an azelaic acid 10% serum, which I really love. The serums average out around nine pounds. They're all in airtight, watertight containers because the one thing that, the one criticism that could be leveled at a lot of products out there is they're in droppers, therefore they would oxidize. Uh, the azelaic acid I know has been used by a couple of people with skin prone to rosacea and it's really started to help them. There are other two things I wanted to point out. The niacinamide serum is also really nice. Now there isn't a percentage on the niacinamide serum, but again, so easy to put into your routine if you have oily prone skin, if you've got skin that's got a damage barrier function because vitamin B3 not only uh, coordinates and regulates the um, production of sebum in the skin, it also repairs the barrier function, obviously, to go hand in hand. So this is a good one to try if you're prone to oily skin, congested skin or enlarged pores. And then there is one oil I really like here. It's the only oil I really ever recommend people to put on their skin. Please don't use coconut oil, which is actually a wax on your skin. Um, it's the organic cold pressed rosehip oil. And this I would keep for emergency winter skin conditions, maybe flying, uh, rough and dry elbows, and for dehydrated and seriously naturally dry skin that doesn't produce enough sebum. They are my five hero products. The hero product, 23% vitamin C with ferulic in a serum that's easy to use from Garden of Wisdom. I can calm down now, can't I? How often do I get excited? How often do I do an entire video about one brand? The last time I did it was for the launch of The Ordinary. Where you sit in terms of that social media maelstrom is up to you. I will always be die hard in love with my multi-molecular hyaluronic acid too from Desiem. I just really will. I love that product. And I still really love NMF as well. But if you're looking for an alternative that's a similar price with similar levels of active ingredients from a really, what seems like from Jill's point of view, a really lovely, slightly hippie, uh, Arizona-based family company that you want to support, then look for Garden of Wisdom. And please, will you give me any feedback if you do try any of these products? I've already talked about the vitamin C one before. If you're trying any of them, um, will you let me know what you think of them? Because I can only test so many products on my face. I'm telling you this in the sense of, yes, I'm using the vitamin C. The other products, I just think they should be on your radar. I haven't necessarily tried them myself, but at nine pounds to sort of 10 or 11 pounds, how can you go wrong? Really, how can you go wrong? What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the vitamin C right the way down to here in an attempt to get rid of that horrible sun damage. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Let me know if you've tried any Garden of Wisdom. The good news is if you go on the original Garden of Wisdom website, it's in more dire need of redesigning than even my own website. And that's saying something. It's a mess. It's, it's, go on to Victoria Health. The entire description of every single product that they have tweaked and worked on is there with Shabir, who's the pharmacist that has tweaked the formulations and worked with the formulators at Garden of Wisdom. It explains exactly how everything does and how much they cost, but more importantly, they ship internationally. Thanks for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Let me know if you've tried any Garden of Wisdom products. And don't forget, follow me on Instagram because although I post here every Thursday and Sunday, I do daily beauty updates on Instagram. <laughs>